Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at the softer parts of the song Haridan. We are in standard tuning and the song is in the key of B. So the bass is a five string bass and it plays uh, in B. I'm going to make a tutorial on that one too since I also have a five string bass. It's going to be lots of fun. And uh, we're in the key of B most of the time. Before the chorus we have this little um, interlude which goes uh, E minor. <laughs> F and then ha, G ha, back to F so E minor then basically an F power chord G power chord that's the that's the bridge before the chorus and then we have the chorus which is pretty cool it goes okay so that's D major A major and then back to back to B and we play the vocal melody along with the chords so that is D major we go two on the G string three on the B string two on the high E string and then we take our pinky to the third fret on the high E string and we go we lift it up okay that's the that's the vocal melody okay when we bite the dust we will hide our cuts from the world so we do the same on the a we bar second fret open a and then d g and b string barred and then we go three on the b string Bite the dust, we will hide our guts from the world. Then a simple power chord, two, four, and four. There's our B. So that's the chorus. Very nice and melodic. Uh, then later we have um, a little lick where we go. So simply the the vocal melody again. Okay, so that is um that is the chorus. Then we have these um very snaky um lines. They go Okay, so we have, that's two on the A string, open A string, then three on the A string, open A, and then four on the D string, five, and two. Then we do a slide to the 7th fret on the D string. Then 5, 4, and 2. 4. So, until there. So four zero, so four zero, two, and then three on the A string. Okay, so that is the the first movement, and then we go. So that's B. F sharp and F, so 2nd fret on the A string, 2nd fret on the E string, 1st fret on the E string. And then we go, we 
go so on the on the low E string we go okay and then we go to uh, five on the E string which is an A we do a slide and we also move the string a lot uh, Stephen Wilson did that in his uh, gear talk video and then we go to the fourth fret which is then a uh, G sharp and then we add this um, major seven chord uh, Stephen Wilson um, explained in this video how in this context uh, the major seven chords sound more um, evil than they would usually sound right so here we have this very nice uh, G sharp major seven so it's uh, four on the low E string six on the A string and five on the D string Then we go to the G, same shape, but here we go, so it's and not, so. Then the same in F sharp, so another half step down, but we just uh, stroke the chord. And then finally an E minor. Okay, so the whole part uh, slowly. Okay, then we have um, the quiet um, acoustic part with the chords. Now, this is interesting because at first I thought um, he plays a B minor. Without you to an, to an F sharp. I am in bed tonight. So lost. E minor. For love. F sharp minor. And I, G. Love. F sharp. And what is left? E. Without you. To a uh, D. Major seven once again. So just we bar these three strings together with the open D string, and then we go to the first fret on the um, G string. The rest stays the same. Without you, um, but I think that instead of this uh, regular B minor chord. He does kind of like like a like a G sharp um, and not G sharp um, G major seven maybe. It's the time of the almost train without you. I am in bed tonight. Oh, I don't know. Um, it sounds as if there is this this note also. I also don't think it's the bass, I think it's the, the acoustic guitar. But anyways, if you want to play it with a regular um, B minor chord, that is totally fine. So B minor, so bar the second fret, four, four, three. If you want to do the major seven chord, then just change the root note from here 
to here, third fret on the E string. Okay. So here we have F sharp, that means we bar the second fret, and then we go 4 on the A string and 4 on the D string. I am back to okay, back to uh, B minor. To us. Then we have E, E minor again. F sharp, and then G major. So we bar the third fret and then five, five, and four. Back to F sharp and E, F sharp, G without you to the D major seven, and then to this very nice one. So you can also play the D major 7 here, but I don't know, it, it makes more sense to do it, to do it here. That sounds very cool. A little bit like um, a Nice Dream by Radiohead, they also have this. Uh, it, it's a bit different. Yeah, but... Or a bit like uh, pure narcotic, maybe. Was it pure narcotic? Uh, one of their older songs had um, a similar chord progression there. Okay, so um, that is the uh, soft part, um, the snaky lines, and the chorus. And I will also make a video on the um, heavier part. It's really cool um, that Stephen Wilson used this tuning where he just tunes down his um, his E string to um to b actually because the song isn't the key of b it's the lowest note and instead of using a baritone guitar he just tuned the whole just the just the e string down no other um uh, string that he put on or something like that with a higher um gauge or something that's pretty cool that's very nice i like that so yeah that's um most of Harridan, uh and the heavy the, the heavy part will uh follow so thanks for watching and see you next time